We're back. <laughs> 2020, 2020, man. 2020. 2020. It's so weird to say. I know. It I does. remember when we were kids saying about the 2000. Like, it was never. That was so far off in the distance. Yeah. Like, yeah. Back to the future stuff. You know, here we are, 2020. 2020. 2020, another decade. Man. Five decades on this rock. Can you believe that? Four no. of those decades we've been yeah. goofing <laughs> off doing this crazy freaking oh, freak man. show. Oh, I know. It's insane, man. I can't believe it. Here we are. Hey, crew. Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Did you miss us? <laughs> Hope you had great Christmases, great New Year's, and all that stuff. We had a great one here in the holler. Christmas was nice. Christmas was nice. Came and nice. went, boy. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Just oh, like that. Speaking of coming and going. Why don't you bring us into 2020 with that finger of yours? Let's do it. <laughs> Nobody does it like you, Monty. That's hysterical. Nobody does it like you. <laughs> do that again. That was just, that's just, <laughs> I love it. Wind it up. Just wind that sucker up. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> I love it. I've missed that. So, oh, and I tell you, I was playing with RT and Sean, the bass player. Yeah, comes over and says, "Do that hey hey song." I'm all, "What hey hey song?" <laughs> He's all, "You know, hey hey," because you know, he, he wanted to see the lick. You know, oh yeah, and it was hilarious because I'm like, "What are you talking about?" The hey hey. It's more like me, man. <laughs> it's hilarious though, man. Because I was like. What? But then Toxic I masculinity getting all up in your face. Yeah, he went to see the... the, the da, 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 he went to see that. The That's old, a beast of a lick, too. The old Fred Barn. Beast. Oh, that's funny, though. The Hey Hey song. <laughs> well, so, you know, Sean, he's yeah, not quite yeah. all there. He, he's a gypsy. I know. He's a I gypsy. Know. And a lot of you folks know Sean, and he also will be sniffing around these parts here pretty soon mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i don't know if we can take another gypsy in town mm, boy yeah. we got louis wilson one gypsy's enough <laughs> <laughs> louis louis yes yes mm. oh, I, lost my pick. So, I was Monty, born a gypsy new year our 26th show lots of exciting things going on folks we are we're really stoked we've got we got some things happening and uh, we're not going to chirp about it. We're not going to talk about it too much. We're not going to talk about it too much. You'll just see it happen. But we do have a new segment this this week that ties into that, some things that could that possibly ties into be some happening. Things. It's called the Motorsports Minute. No, oh, do that again. <laughs> the Motorsports Ooh, Minute. Face. That's Ooh. awesome. And it's encompassing yes. motorsports. Yes. So, so yes. Out the, the out this new segment, the Motorsports Minute, is everything from the world of outlaws to NASCAR to Supercross to oh gosh, if if they're racing shopping carts, we're going to talk about it. Nice. Yes. Nice. So, uh, Supercross started this weekend, this last weekend. Oh, it did. It sure did. It's, we're in that other dimensional thing, we're right? In that yes. other dimensional thing. Forget. Yeah. Yes, it did. Seventeen weeks nonstop. Um, and uh, yeah, we love it. We're, we're so stoked cross. about that. Also, going on this time of year is a lot of your favorite drivers, especially in the open wheel world, are down under in Australia and New Zealand and just kicking butt and shots taking names. Is, shots is just Tony Shots in the world up. of As outlaws, usual. sprint cars. Yeah, he drives for Tony Stewart's sprint car team, just killing it. And one Kyle Larson is down there taking names. He had a real bad oh, wreck the other night, though. Man, in case you missed it, here it is. <laughs> Here comes Larson. These two definitely been impressive for Team US of A. And Larson, oh, it's a huge one from Kyle Larson. Big flip down the back straight. Go to the then, there we go. Here it is. There we Multiple go. That is huge. Rollovers. And then after that, the ne his next night back, 
he won the race <laughs> again. <laughs> These so, guys are not of this. Just his, his eye was just bloodshot red, just as can be from flipping so violently like that. That's a brutal flip. Strap back in behind the wheel. Yep. I know. You're right back. They are not of this yeah. earth. They're, they're, they are. No. They're different. They are, they are Very different. different breed, man. <laughs> Motorsports Minute. I love Motorsports it. Motorsports Minute. That's fun. And you got clips of stuff. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. We're, we're going to be bringing you... Bring, bring, I mean, it'll be, we'll bring you so much, you'll be smelling the fuel. No, oh, you will, because yeah. we're going to take this here show on the road in this a couple weeks. This show's going on the road in a couple weeks. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> you, be waiting for that yeah, one. Let's not say. Nope. Let's not say where it is, but yeah, we're, we're, we're really We're going excited. remote. We're going remote. We're going remote, baby. That's what the <laughs> Cast Creek Club on the road. On That's tour. it. That's it. Okay. Awesomeness. What about the Squatch? We got Squatch going on this week? We've got... Yes, we do. Actually, if if you folks are really interested, we, we will start having our own stories here again, stuff that, that we've seen. But there is something on YouTube called the Sasquatch Chronicles. Hmm. And I've been listening to it back and forth. And if you have any interest in the hairy beast, I'm telling you what, you guys need to check it out. Sasquatch Chronicles. They have all these all of this stuff and you know, they they have um scientists on there and everything and it's 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 awesome. It is awesome. And some of the stories that, you know, I've always thought he was the big, hairy, nice giant of the woods. Yeah, not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. There's been, I mean, even, even you know, chronicled you know, things and stuff happening that just, you might not go back in the woods again. You might not. Yeah. But so for this week, for the, the Squatch Report, I tell you, if you have any interest, check out the Sasquatch Chronicles. Just my make a believer, Eddie. That's right. Woo wee! <laughs> All right. Hey, who's our guest today? We got Andrew Pope, man. Andrew coming Pope coming up from the great state of Alabama. From Alabama, roll tide. Roll. <laughs> that just cracks me up. Roll tide. Roll tide. Out of the corner. Of the <laughs> That's okay. Hello down there, like aloha in Hawaii. Yeah. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, Roll Tide. <laughs> Watch out. That's, that's Alabama school Look teacher. <laughs> I didn't go there. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Da bears. Oh, that's you, good one. <laughs> That's different, I'm saying. Yeah. Roll Chicago. Roll. <laughs> Andrew is, he's part of the that new crop of up-and-coming outlaw country type influenced by the old Waylon and stuff like that. They're keeping that music real and authentic, and yeah. and we'll get him to do a song for you today, too. But um, He's tied into the Waylon camp there, by the way. Yeah, that's it's right, awesome. yeah. We'll Some hear all cool about that. Stuff. We'll yeah, hear you hear all about, about that, old. Andrew Pope, we're, we're just happy to have him. Starting out 2020, Monty. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow, here we go. Here we go, man. Can here you believe it? Crazy. Made it through another decade. I just don't know where it went, but I have decided, officially, mm-hmm. I've spent four decades goofing off, wasting time. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> You've been making babies and raising. I didn't waste time. I didn't waste time. <laughs> Just uh, spent it pretty much trying to please other people. Ah, and to no avail. So you're making a freaking stand today. Absolutely. Yes. It's just the fifties, the sixties. They're years. It's it's yeah. It's it's about us. It's mm. off we go. Very nice, buddy. And I, I'm not being selfish about that. It's, you know, it's You've time. given so much of you. It's time. I've You've given been. myself away. I'm yes, yeah. Trying to find a little piece of that back. So, comes the hair. It's all in the mullet. It comes the hair. <laughs> the first the first piece you take back is the hair. My I freaking lo- hair. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Let's <laughs> hit to Andrew. Oh, Come on. Andrew. Bring in the Bama. I love it. All 
Our first guest hey. of 2020, <laughs> Andrew Pope. Couldn't find him. I mean, you really couldn't find anybody else. Well, you know? he, well, we wanted to, you know, we set the bar low for this year because uh-huh. we worked too hard last year. So we figured we got we'll, a lot of room to we got get a, a lot of room there, to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Hey, man. Thank you for being here, buddy. Appreciate y'all having me. Man, we're excited to have you. And first guest of the new decade. For, yeah, the new decade. Oh, the roaring twenties. That's right. I can't believe it's twenty twenty. Yeah, I mean, man. every time I see twenty twenty on reading something or something, it's yeah. insane. No, we don't look right. I didn't think I'd still be here. I still wonder kind of if we are in 2020 or if they're just playing some kind of joke on us. Oh, or you're going to do that, are you? I mean, you know, it's kind of. Which dimension is this anyway? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of them out there. There's so. a lot of them. And string theory and all that kind of crap. Uh, well, I wouldn't go in. I didn't know you were in all that quantum physics stuff. We're going to have to talk one of these days, boy. Uh, not not so much quantum physics. <laughs> you know, it's probably my own, my own mind playing games with me <laughs> oh no so um we want to we want to introduce andrew to you guys because he is just he's badass and this whole outlaw scene coming up you know all the the names of the folks andrew should he's right there with with the best of them if not the best it. so i mean you got a little bit of andy griggs in that voice a little bit of rawness and just well that's a compliment i really appreciate that i've always loved Andy Griggs. Oh man, voice. I mean, I, I I don't think you can get away from it. I mean, you your speaking voice even kind of sounds a little bit like him. And every once in a while, you might have a bad day, but I promise you now, you won't ever be lonely. I've always Good thought he had too. that distinctive thing. You know how many, so many country artists from the 90s and the 80s had such distinctive sounds yes. you just knew right who it was right. when it first started right and that's and, why they were the, you know you, that was back when you had to you had to bring the goods man oh yeah you had you to had stand to. the microphone and sing yeah there wasn't any uh, computers that was gonna help your vocals <laughs> along yeah. a little bit if they were kind of yeah. struggling a little bit yeah so Mr. Pope tell us your story buddy my this story this whole thing how it all began how you started down your your musical journey. Oh, goodness. And that's very cool, by the way. Oh, this hat? It is. Yeah. <laughs> can, I t- can I tell you a minute about this? Oh, absolutely. A guy in um, somewhere in Illinois right outside of Chicago, Paul Syracusa, made this hat for me. And if you look at it real close, it looks a lot like the um, Bobby Bear on the, I think it was the Drunk and Crazy record that Bobby Bear did. Mm-hmm. And he had this hat. It wasn't this hat, but he had right. one very much like this. Okay. I was over at Bobby's house uh, one day, and we were listening to old Shel Silverstein songs, yeah. and demos, and all kinds yeah. of stuff, sitting in the garage. And I asked him, I said, you know, I've looked all over eBay and everywhere for a hat, kind of like you and the Bellamy Brothers and, you know, those kind of crazy hats. And I hadn't really found one that really is there. And he just pulled out his phone and he said, call this guy right here. He made every one of them for all of us. He made my whole band <laughs> one and everything. Man, I called the guy and he, he made one for me and sent it to me for Christmas. The guy's in his like in his eighties now and, wow. and he's Didn't charge still kind of No. Wow. And he's made me three or four since then, but this is obviously the number one. That's 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 something else. It is. He he also made uh, Burt Reynolds hat on the cover of the second Smokey and the Bandit soundtrack. Dang, yeah, yeah. You remember them hats, Money, back oh, yeah. in the day? Yeah. Man, everybody oh, yeah. had them. Oh, you man, bet. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the chicken butt and all that. That's, that's what we, we used to call them. But you, you were just a baby in those days, though. Yeah, I kind of feel like I was born somewhere You were born else. too late? <laughs> yeah. Uh, too, you know, it's, yeah. I don't know if my birthday is really my birthday. I just... <laughs> It's kind of, well, there you go again. Here we go again. Yeah, it might not be 2020 <laughs> for you, Andrew. You know, you, uh, you, I mean, you, I, you know, you, you might know, be the looking glass thing. Is just... <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, I, I've always had that feeling that I, you know, I don't know. It's just like I relate to things that are way older than me. You're uh, an old soul, music, brother. movies, TV shows, whatever, and yeah. that a lot of that probably comes from my grandparents because I spent a lot of time with them as a kid, and. uh Actually, the first, if the first song I ever heard was not a Hank Jr. song on the radio because my mother loved Hank Jr., mm-hmm. it was a gospel song because I went to church with my grandmother. Right. This little, little bitty church out in the country where I'm from in Northeast yeah. Alabama. 
And so I don't know which was which, but they're both there. Yeah. <laughs> which is kind of one end of the spectrum well, all the way to the other. But, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. So that that's probably where the where where the a lot of that. where the die was cast yeah. for you too. Yeah. And you Absolutely, know, I feel thing. like oh yeah, yeah. Between that and my stepdaddy loved Leonard Skinner, so there's a lot of that. Um, I mean, I love you know any kind of music really. Well, not rap so much, but I love. Uh, just country music, uh, even oldies. I mean, I, you know, Sinatra and Bing Crosby and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Fats Waller, old sure. stuff. It's it goes all over. But uh, yeah, I've 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 been doing this for about twelve years now, as far as playing music, you know, in public, uh, doing honky tonking, what mm-hmm. we call it. You know, yeah. So that's what we can call it in in Alabama or in the South, or yeah. Whatever. Um, but. Uh, I had piano lessons when I was six years old and kind of did that for a while, learned enough to play by ear. Quit for a few years because then everybody, when you learn how to play the piano and you're six years old or eight or 10 or 12, everybody wants you to play in church every Sunday morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I started playing football and forgot about that. Well, then I got a guitar when I was 14. Actually, I think it was my uncle's guitar. My mother borrowed it. And just sat it in there, and I just picked it up and played it. Never had a lesson, just kind of figured it out. Mm-hmm. And then that's, I guess I've always been a musician. I didn't know I was a songwriter until way later, uh, probably when I went through my divorce. Yeah. You got to live a little bit, I think, yeah, before you, you do. start putting pen to that, paper. You do. some songs out of you. Yeah, it will. <laughs> yeah. Speaking from... May not Experience. be real yeah. <laughs> happy chipper songs, but no, no, they no. bring some songs at you. <laughs> no, but they do make you feel better. Money wrote a song one time about a woman. I thought I was going to have to call the police. I mean, it was. <laughs> oh, I've got to hear this. Is this, you, this what's in your mind? <laughs> oh, I, I've got to hear that. Oh, yeah, it was now. quite angry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to get that out. I mean, people don't understand. I tell people all the time. What's it called? You're not worthy. You're not worthy. <laughs> You're it, not may never, worthy. it may never see the light of day. It's pretty. Well, now that, that's it's pretty. Uh, that's it's not pretty what angry. I was expecting. It. You know, when you're just talking about how angry it was. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty you got to get that out sometimes. I, I mean, had to get that out. It, just to write something down on a yeah. piece of paper makes you feel better. She wasn't worthy of a 38 shell no. or something like that. I don't know. That account. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite that bad. Not quite that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it, it's uh, songwriting is therapeutic, I feel like. you know, there's There's been times when that's healed me when nothing else has in my life. And there's been times when... You're just goofing off, and you know you just right. It 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 kind of gives you a giddy feeling or something if you if you're if you get that out of you, mm-hmm. um, especially when you craft it into a song. It's it's amazing. I feel like that comes from God, mm-hmm. straight from God. That's you just gift. have to reach out and grab it. It's a gift, yeah. And um, speaking of your songwriting, you've had an icon cut one of your songs, and it's actually on the charts right now. It is uh, John Schneider, of course. Yeah. Dukes of Hazard, Bo Duke yeah. from the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, he was also in Smallville. He was, I think, Jonathan and Kent. Smallville was the dad. He did a song for that show. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's talk about that when we come back because you you heard the pizza timer. Yeah. That means we got to take a break. Yeah. So, Andrew Pope, when we come back, we'll be talking about Mr. Duke John That's Snyder. Right. That's cool. Thank you, Andrew. We'll see yeah. you. In. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yes, on the other side of this commercial. You going to count? I'm going to flip this. No, we're going to start ranting. (laughs) Hey, um, quick shout out. Okay. Uh, uh, Twang on a string. Twang on a string. Twang on a string. Twang on a string. The guitar jewelry. Twang on a string. I love it because our strings, who would normally be tossed into a heat pile somewhere in the middle of nowhere and forgotten have take it on a whole new life and become jewelry and, and it's being sported all over the place. Sported? Sported. Oh. Yes, proudly yeah. worn. Sporting and, their uh, twang. I love it. I think it's the coolest thing. It's ever. very cool. You do, those, uh, you do wipe your Dago juice off it though before they get it, right? Oh no. Ooh, that makes it even better. Fully stained. Ooh, yes. It has to be. Money's got fingers that just ooze. Yeah. It's that passionate Italian blood. That's right. Yeah, and it comes off later as you're wearing it. Okay. And it gets all over you.
Hey, we're back. Who is this guy? It's Andrew Pope, Andrew man. Andrew Pope. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <clears throat> so you got a Duke boy running one of your songs up the charts. Yeah, it's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, John and his wife, Alicia, has been really awesome. Great people. They're great people. Um, and he, we had dinner one night at the Row in Nashville. And... I gave him a CD. He wanted a CD. And I gave him my last copy of my last album, Stone on the One, is the name of it, which is that it's a self titled. I mean, it's the songs on the record, too. That's the name of the record. Title Cut. Title Cut. Thank you. (laughs) And you're from Alabama. I get it. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you know, (laughs) Alabama's first record was called Alabama. (laughs) It's all you need. But the next morning after that, after that little supper we had there, I woke up and they had blown my phone up and they had listening through all the songs on there and he was just, him and her both was going crazy. And then, so they cut Stone on the One. He tells me they're going to do it at the Opry and he wants me there. So me and my fiance got to be with him at the Opry and see him. You know, he mentioned me writing it and everything, so which cool. means a lot. Yeah. It was really cool. But now it's on, the, I think it's 40, 46 this week, I think. Dang it. I'm and that's great. even through Christmas, which is. That's awesome, man. That's cool. Yeah, big honor. He is an icon, man. Oh, he is, man. He He's uh, he's legendary, you know. he's he's uh, He's been in and around everywhere. You know what I've really grown to love about him, too, is he is not afraid. I mean, you know, he's not worried about selling his reputation or anything like no. that. But if there's if there's wrong or right, he'll call it out. He yeah. will. I've seen him go on some rants sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know, and, and, and I, I just appreciate it because, you know, even because a lot of the, the Hollywood folks, you mm-hmm. know, so entrenched in everything they do, and they always got to say the right thing. And yeah, politically you know, correct. They're yeah. chameleons. They're, you yeah. know, they're this way over here, then this way over here. And he's like, hey, that ain't right. You well, know, I and, just I respect that. And I feel like a lot of those people, uh, any kind of celebrity, not everybody, but just, you know, in general, they, they forgot how to think for themselves almost. It's almost like everybody's drinking the – same kind of Kool Aid and right. just repeating one after the other, and they, then they start to believe the hype. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But John, yeah, he does. I respect that a lot about him. He does. He does voice his opinions, and that's how I am. And uh, so maybe that's why we get along. Maybe we that's get along. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he, he's we've been we've been actually touring with him. Uh, he invited us out, so we've been doing doing some touring with him, and we're going to this coming year. That's cool. I know you've got a uh, um, you're playing at his deal too, right? Mm-hmm. I, I saw that on your yeah on your website. Yeah, we uh, actually we did. Uh, he has a Christmas show at his place in Holden, Louisiana, every year. Oh, okay, and yeah. it's called Bo's Christmas Bozar. <laughs> Bozar, <laughs> isn't that the great? Christmas Bozar, <laughs> isn't that great? That's the best thing ever. Yeah, and so he's he's really embraced the whole Bo Duke thing too. Oh huh? yeah, yeah, it. he loves it, man. He loves. That's it. so he, cool. He's got a he's got one of the. Of course, he's had several general leads through the years, but uh, he's either auctioned them or somebody's bought them. Yeah, I think Kid Rock has one. Um, and you know, it's got the Confederate flag on it. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. That, he, he he wouldn't own it if it didn't. No, <laughs> but he he's, he's general Lee without it. Yeah, he's got a new one uh, that he got for his birthday last year. And this guy in uh, somewhere in Texas built the whole thing and personalized it. Bose generally. Bose generally. That's and, uh, so yeah, cool, it's man. it's really cool. What did he think of the remake of the movie? I mean, that I don't think he was too crazy about it. Yeah. I think it kind of didn't respect the characters. That's my opinion. I, mm-hmm. I think that he, from hearing him uh, the few times I have heard him talk about it. Yeah. That's kind of the way it leans. Yeah, I don't think he was a fan. Yeah, no, I, I, there there weren't too many that were fans of that one. I mean, especially from our generation, we're like, Pfft. yeah, yeah. It was kind of <laughs> during that time where they were doing the Starskin Hut, you know, doing all these right, kind of right. Well, I, they really, satire. They missed it with that though. Because they did. It wasn't so much, you know. I mean, there was just everything of about that series. It was all. It all just seemed so very innocent. Yeah, and it was That's anything the, but that. They took the, the heart out of it and they it just really kind of made did. a mockery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Hollywood tends to do that. Right. Yeah. And even as 
sexy as Daisy presented herself, mm-hmm. it didn't come off that way. She come know? off kind of like a hooker. Well, oh yeah, in, you know, in the movie. In the movie, yeah. yeah but I, I mean, like in in the series. Oh, absolutely. It she didn't, didn't know. That way. She did. It's like she didn't really know. Her, right, right, right. Her beauty. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. what was the best thing and about I, yeah, it. Yeah, you know, so whoever wrote that, they they missed it, man. So I, I agree. I, that's why I was wondering what what he thought about it. Yeah, what, it's what he felt. So one of those things. So but and he also, oh, he ahead. he actually did a movie called Christmas Cars that he wrote and directed and edited and stars in and it's not a dukes of hazard remake but it does fans of the dukes of hazard will love it because christmas cars christmas cars (laughs) and it addresses the whole top of the car issue the rebel flag it it addresses it oh i might see that yeah it's it's done really well cool for him was it a hallmark thing no it's just a thing that his john schneider studios put out uh maven I think Maven Entertainment is the company okay. that they put it out, and he's he's done very well with that, and it's a great movie. That's cool. He's got Johnny Lee as the balladeer oh, doing right. weddings. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> so, and also, speaking of your writing with uh, icons and stuff, you mentioned you got to write with one of our favorites, man, Mr. T. Graham Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love We love Tina's. T. The Tennis, that's right. Yeah, that's right. He uh, he christened our Cash Creek Club live. He was the first, really, the first guy with the balls enough to he show up. Hell, hey, I'll do it, boys. That sounds and, down, and, just, and just blew it out. Of the that park. sounds right on the money. Yeah, yeah. him and yeah. Sheila, I love them both. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, really great good. Folks. We're gonna get back awesome. together hopefully. And pretty good song. Oh yeah, we uh, well, I don't even think we finished it. I think we finished it, but we're still kind of tweaking things on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we run out of time, actually. We wrote it, uh, Cook Sound, in Fort Payne, mm-hmm. Alabama. I'm yeah. sure any, most people watching this know oh, yeah. where that's at, yeah. for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, yeah, we wrote there, and, and Jeff Cook actually came out, and that's the first time I'd seen him in a few months, and he came out. and That's cool. We all went to lunch, and he played the guitar and stuff and just talked, and we had a good time. Uh well, you guys got to finish that song, man. I'm we do. To hear it. I told him the other day. He, te- he, he uh, texted me and Happy New Year, and I said, yeah, I said, yeah, man, we need to finish that song. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to write one about the Narge? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ask him about the Narge. The Narge. Yeah, that's the, the part Narge. of your, your 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 butt crack that sticks out the top of your pants. I feel like he would know that. Yeah, that's he what told, we he taught us that. <laughs> Thirty some odd years ago. What was that? Nineteen eighty something. Something like that. Yeah. When we were still. Oh, like, back in the. We were kids. That's large. And we were uh, we were all these, these <laughs> adoring teenage musicians all looking up at him, and he's telling us about the Narge. <laughs> <laughs> it stuck, man. That's the best thing. And ever. then when we when we did the show with, with him recently. We forgot totally about forgot. it. We were oh, yeah. laying on it. Hey, we, we, you remember the Narge? No, we forgot. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the other day. I think he may be the first uh, country act I ever seen. Really? If he wasn't the first, I know he was the second. But I think he was the first. And I remember he had this his bus. It, it said Barney. You know, the old Silver Eagle Barney buses. Fife? It said Barney Fife, mm-hmm. and he come out wearing these polka dotted, colorful pajama pants. I guess <laughs> yeah. they were, oh, yeah. and a big Barney Fife. T-shirt that was like three sizes too big, you know. Like tea. But man, yeah. yeah. But he brought the goods. We're talking about oh, delivering yeah. the goods. Does. It still does. Still, still does. does. I think his uh, voice is better now. Than oh man. I mean, well, it's it's funny because when he was young, we thought, man, that dude's got an old voice, old black man voice. <laughs> yeah. You know? And I, he's finally aged into he's his aged voice. He's grew into it. Yeah, <laughs> Instead of growing out of it, he grew yeah, into it. That's right. Hey, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back with more of Andrew Pope. Woohoo! Andrew Pope. That's Andrew Pope. I'm waving over here. 
<laughs> My fiance tells me when I point at something, I do like this for some reason. So, like, if I'm pointing at that cup, I'll mm-hmm. say, "Will you grab that cup right there?" <laughs> and I said, "You know, you're right. Why do I do that?" So instead of a lazy eye, you got a lazy finger. They say, "Hey, I, you," and everybody's like, "I mean, it makes, it makes no sense." No sense. I make no it's sense. It's because you're born at the wrong time, like you said. Because yeah, in so. the other dimension, your finger's going straight. It's going the other way. So you got that going <laughs> on. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. That's what you can tell her. I've got to re- reconsider things. Now. See, honey, I'm interdimensional. Interdimensional. <laughs> My older me back here behind me, he's yeah. interdimensional. That's it. You're heterodimensional. You're not homodimensional. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Heterodimensional. Heterodimensional. Uh, I'm making notes in my head. Yeah. <laughs> making notes. Uh, so more excitement in the Andrew Pope camp. The new album yeah. is being produced by Shooter Jennings. Yeah, man. Come I, on. Couldn't be, I couldn't be happier for that. Come uh, on. Me and, me and Shooter have known each other for, I guess, about three or four years now. And he's, strangely enough, always been a big fan of mine. Yeah. I was a big fan of his. No count for taste. Uh, I, uh, well, you know, <laughs> what can I say? He he still thinks you're Andy Green. You don't have it. Don't put up with that. You don't have to put up. With that. Oh, I mean, hey, it's, you can't you can't dispute the truth. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, shooter's great, man. I, I I really look forward to getting. We're going to do it in Los Angeles out there with with uh, his studio and his guys. Be safe. And we've talked about the kind of thing we're wanting to do, and I've wrote songs for it and uh it seems I'm really like a excited great about match it with his style and your i style. think so i think it's gonna be awesome i think so he just one day mm-hmm. said hey man i want to produce a record on you and then we some time passed and we talked about how we wanted to do it and then now all we gotta do is do it and so uh, that'll be the challenge because who the- were some of the ones that you said he's produced to Oh Recently? gosh! This last year, the he Tanya produced, Tucker one, right? Yeah, he yeah. co-produced the Brandy. I mean, the uh, Tanya Tucker record with Brandy Carlisle, which is it's going to win a Grammy, great. right? It, it probably it, will. It, it, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, she's nominated for four, I think. Nice. And so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. I, I hope, I hope it's a great record. Um, and then on the other end of the spectrum. He co-produced, or he produced, uh, Marilyn Manson's new record. <laughs> and then he produced Duff McKagan's solo record from Guns N' Roses. Uh, and he's done a bunch more. I think he's producing Jamie Wyatt's new record. Oh, really? She's phenomenal. She's great. But his pinnacle, his current achievement will be the Andrew Pope record. Uh, well, you put it out there, buddy. So. <laughs> I put it yeah. out there. I'll take yeah. that any day, Hoss. Well, I, 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 I went, has he talked to you about your tattoo there? Uh, I don't know. At all? I think. Can they see it? Oh, wow. Which camera? Yeah, you, you're looking at that one. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, I don't know if we talked about it or not. I think it seems like he, he mentioned it one day. But that was probably just that was it, you know. Wonder how how that would feel. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, nope. I wonder how a lot of things would feel for him. I always talk about that about these, you know, children of legends yeah. and stuff, and how the world, yeah, is for them. It's something that we could never experience. I mean, we we we've, we've discussed this at length, like you know, Dale Junior and mm. uh, Hank Junior. Hank Junior. Yeah. Of course, his, on record, his you know whole of childhood was just that, just hell. You know, yeah. they, well, it, it, well, his daddy died when he was three. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I had to go back and sing it to remember what age he was. Mama didn't, <laughs> mama didn't bounce him on her knee. You know, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they, we, it'd have to be hard. No, we. I remember we we talked with Chris Golden about. Oh, it was Chris Golden. That's oh, right. Oh, yeah. Growing up, growing up in the yeah. the Oaks. Yeah. Scene and, he's kind of he's kind of got away from some of that though now. Hasn't Chris he? has. Yeah, he's carving his, his own. That's good. His own thing. He's he's got a pretty good fan base. Pretty good. I mean, yeah, he's working all the time. Working all the time. That's good. Yeah, yeah. he had to. That's a great dude. Kind of had to, you know, go out about it. But I mean, it's it, it's it's always, it's like he he he's always been William Lee's boy. Yeah. He, you know what I mean? And he and he will be. He will be. 
you know, but but he's able to go out and, and do his own thing too. So that's, yeah, kind of be detached cool. from yeah. some of that. Yeah, it's got to be a strange, a, a strange, strange way of living. Oh, it would have to be. It would really have to be. I, I can't imagine what people like that go through, what are your especially kids? if you're trying to make. Your How do your own kids career? deal with it? Being the son of Andrew Pope. Oh, I don't have any. I know. <laughs> I'm talking about How'd your you future know? kids. We're, you know, we're, 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 well, well, we're no, no. How, we're, inter- you know I didn't have any? we're interdimensional. <laughs> how do I well, know? Maybe you, in another dimension, you, I do. Have you know one. how I know you don't have any because under your eyes and all of this, you see all this stuff. This is kids. That's well, I, you that's don't think I have this? <laughs> you don't have any of that. No, I and there's like a I light do. in your eyes that still says, right? "I don't have kids. <laughs> I'm alive." <laughs> You see us, well, we got kids. <laughs> uh, it's like Harley look, Riders look can tell who gray. Harley Riders are. <laughs> all the gray, the lines, uh, the worry God, lines. Oh, man. Uh, you sing like you got 20 kids, though. Man. I, uh, oh, maybe, man, I <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe I do. Maybe that's it. Maybe I do. Maybe I've got 45. And I just in your hetero dimension. I've been travelers. alive since 1927. <laughs> that's right, yeah. And I've got grandkids, too. Well, and, that would be something. Maybe one day I'll meet him. Hey. <laughs> Andrew, you're just as twisted I as mean, us. I love oh, it. Love it. <laughs> love it. You slide right on in. That's right. <laughs> He's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this guy's got to come do the Cash Tree Club Live. Oh, absolutely. We gotta have him. Absolutely. Kill just it. so we can have I'd fun love and to. play your songs, man. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Rock on it. I'd love to. No rehearsal allowed, though. You just got to show up, walk on stage, and kill. That's the best way to do it. do it. Put it out just, there. Just and provide us with a set list. Yeah, prior. just need a set list. That oh, I'm not, I'm not good with set list, though. <laughs> just three songs. That's all you get. Three songs? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're headlining, then you get six. Oh. That's still... Wait, but no, that happened in 2023. That's when you headlined our show. 23, okay. Yeah, 2023. And oh, then, I, part of me remembers that. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and and you you did five of your number ones, and you did your newest single. So I had six number ones. Yeah, and my newest single. Yeah, it okay. was a good time, man. Yeah, it was a great time. I, I don't know some, some of that. I, yeah. I kind of remember that. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like kind of like playing like that right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man! Oh, God. <laughs> now, look, we wasted a whole segment just dicking around. Okay, you want me to? Do I have it's time? That's what we do. Uh, do I have time to say that? We'll, we'll come back. You come back we'll, to it. Okay. We'll, we'll well, he put, he did that, so I got to. He, he did they're the movie. Gonna, they're going to think what in oh, the world yeah, was that? You got to tell the story. Okay. When we come back, with more of it, and we promise we won't <laughs> jerk around so much. Uh, We're out of practice. It's the first one of 2020. <laughs> Andrew Pope, we're back. I think we're back. I, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. We are. Unless we're actually oh, not man. here. No, we no, back. You, we back. My mind. <laughs> you messed it with my mind again. You never know. We're back in 2020. Okay. You, now, Monty did a little thing there from a story that you were re- relaying to us. You got you got to tell our fans the first time you <laughs> met Randy Owen. Yeah. Uh, well, we were we were. I hadn't thought about this in a while. <laughs> But uh, it was uh, they used to do a June Jam songwriter showcase, which was just uh, it was a benefit for uh, a big uh, boys ranch there in Alabama. And I guarantee a lot of our viewers had been to that thing. They probably oh, have. You know it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so all the all the proceeds went to the uh, uh, I can't remember the name. It was it was the Alabama Boys Ranch or something. But John Kroll, which was Brody Kroll's daddy. Mm-hmm. And Brody Crow played at Alabama mm-hmm. Roll Tide. Oh yeah, yeah, Roll Tide. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to get that in there. No, and this is not the freaking elephant. I mean, it, this was here for me. Today. That was here for me. That was here today. For, yeah, in fact, you can take that with you when you go. You've done your research. <laughs> You've done your That's research. Corner of the mouth here, everybody. Roll, roll, roll Tide. Uh, yeah. So. 
It was just a songwriter thing where they would have hit songwriters come in and Randy and Jeff and Teddy, and it would just be like a guitar pull, Mm -hmm. basically. And after the show that night, we were all backstage, and I had never formally met Randy. And, well, informally either, Mm -hmm. for that matter. (laughs) That wouldn't give some kind of impression that I've informally met Randy before I formally met him. You might have. Who knows? But then again, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> so we take a group picture, and Randy's standing behind me <laughs> on this side. And he takes his thumb, and I maybe the corona was talking a little too much, but he takes his thumb, and my arm's down like this, and he takes his thumb and pushes it. Right There's pressure. some kind of nerve or pressure yeah. point right there. And then I hear... Whisper to me <laughs> softly. And I mean, I could feel his breath on my back of my ear. He was breathing words upon your skin. <laughs> he breathed words upon my ear. Like. So thank you for that, Randy. Give me something I won't ever forget. <laughs> and then and what I, did he say? When you, he, 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 well, I said, I said, uh, I said, well, damn. I said, that, that kind of felt good. You're kind of like a little massage or something. And he said, yeah, my mom always said I had a strong grip. He said, now, who are you? <laughs> like, why was I there? You know, was classic, classic. And then we had this great conversation. Man. And then he introduced yeah. me to Frank Myers, which was there, oh, yeah. which is a great Frank's songwriter. Great. Oh, yeah. uh, wrote a couple of big number ones for Alabama, but he wrote, I swear. I swear. You know, all kinds of Front porch looking monsters. Here. Yeah. And then that ended know up being missing. my that very first. That was one of our songs that he wrote. Oh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> He's good, man. He's, I, he's got a huge catalog of hits Mm -hmm. but he introduced the two of us well then that ended up being my very first co-write up here in nashville with it with notable songwriters very cool it was frank and jim mcbride together you you sure could have done a whole lot worse than that and i realized real quick that i was not a songwriter (laughs) yet but i you know i found my way you found your way yeah (laughs) So thank you, Randy, for that. That's hilarious. Then I saw Randy last and you last June at his uh, Fandemonium. Fandemonium at the farm. And I talked to him, and I didn't have time to tell him that. But uh, we'll hopefully see him again soon. Yeah. Yeah. Love those guys, all of them. Yeah. They're uh, they're like the, you know, next to Bear Bryant, they're like the Holy Trinity down there in Alabama. They are. Well, okay. Saban's up there too well, now. Saban, I forgot, I forgot. You know, they've got <laughs> Saban is yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is crazy because in my lifetime, I never thought that anybody would even compare yeah. with what Bear Bryant did. They've kind of for, forgot all about the LSU championship that he coached too, didn't they? Mm, yeah, they, <laughs> LSU's a sore subject, especially right now, for obvious reasons. Yeah, but, it never uh, happened. It never happened. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> I love college football anyway. Uh, I love it all, but. Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> so l- uh, l- let me ask you this. Since you are an Alabama fan, you know, it's it, it, I, I've been doing this poll, Alabama football fan. Um, who do you want to win between Clemson and LSU? Are you, is it all SEC or is it beat the team that beat us? I think I want to, Mm. It's it's I don't know. I, I think I think I want Clemson to win because I really like Dabo. Dabo's great. And he great program. He's you know, an Alabama boy. Right. And he He's from the seems, tree. He is. <laughs> from the Saban tree. He is, but he seems to have a lot of respect and I, I really admire him. Yeah. And uh he's done something that nobody else has done except for Nick Saban. In the past, well, over a decade, yeah, you know now. But I think, uh, so you want I think Clemson's got a pretty good shot at it. But LSU man, uh, yeah. Joe Burrows is like a machine. Well, it's, it, it, the, 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 the the point I mean, it's like most people that I find that are from that are SEC fans that you know either Mississippi State, UT, They're whatever, SEC. it'll always be SEC. Yeah. And so that that's why you know it's it's like okay you know 
Vandy's not there, but I'm going to vote for this because they're SEC. <laughs> yeah. Whereas the other ones, like Pac-12 and stuff, you, yeah. know, you want, you know, you'd rather have the dude from the Big Ten right. beat, beat the team that knocked you out. Right, you, you, yeah. You know, so that's interesting because you're, maybe you're not you're not from this time, maybe. I've, I don't know. Because I mean, you're the only SEC guy I've talked to that is. <clears throat> well, you know, when Auburn in 2010, when they had Cam Newton and they won. Yeah, that wasn't fair. After the, no, it wasn't. But after the the post season when i realized that they beat us i kind of wanted them to win you know just right. because it was for, great for the state it's, and the right. and it's the just, conference yeah yeah, yeah right and but, that's the way most people that i've talked to felt I, I don't know why but yeah. i just feel like uh clemson i want to root for them i feel like they're kind of even though they're clemson is an sec school that just happens to be playing in the i ACC. mean God, you know, why couldn't we got them instead of texas a&m know, or something that would have been great or missouri yeah, i mean right. nobody cares about missouri I, yeah. I mean not the people um, of missouri but yeah, you know yeah. the the football right. the football team <laughs> sorry for you getting off on that uh, pig it's, trail it, it's a little in impromptu rule tied uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you're learning me. that corrects me maybe you're from another time too time. no my my dad was arkansas so it, it was you know hey sweet, arkansas's done some big all the way they got a great history too <laughs> arkansas does yeah. yeah just not not a lot of recent history's not been too great <laughs> except the the dude going up and getting on the motorcycle with the secretary and oh getting yeah, in yeah. The wreck and <laughs> leaving her yeah. to fend for herself <laughs> oh, i don't want to mm. talk about that andrew sing us a song when we come back I'll try. Will you? I'll try. That would be fantabulous. Do my best. You, you know, the, this will be the first performance of 2020 as well. Well, yes. a lot of firsts today. Maybe we'll, I'll bring yes. in some luck. All we, of us. We think it's 2020. We yeah. Think. Is it really? Is it really? And see, you've, you've got us going all crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazy Andrew Pope, out of time. Out of time and out, out of tune. Out of time. Out of, every night. <laughs> in the shed. <laughs> Thinking back on. Well, it's always thirsty weather, wherever or whenever. Neither rain or ice or dark or nice is going to keep us from our rain. When it's hot, we need a cold one. When it's cold, we want a warm up. Yeah, Mother Nature is always in our favor. And right now, it's thirsty weather. Andrew Pope gonna do us a little front porch <laughs> speaking. Well done. I could do. I can repeat it, man. Can we do it again? Yeah. Do it again. Andrew Pope. What yeah. what I say? <laughs> <laughs> what you got there, buddy? Oh, uh, just old pawn shop guitar. Love it, love it. That looks like it's cookie endorsed. It Jeff is Jeff Cook endorsed. So what? What about Jeff? Um, what about old Cookie? Oh, I love Jeff, man. He yeah, he's played it before. He loves playing this it's uh you know i i met him whenever we were doing that first i did a, that uh first album i ever did it was just songs kind of that i had written just enough to know i wasn't a songwriter yet <laughs> if that makes any sense and uh but i did it at cook sound with the great david hammonds david which, hammonds yeah Woo-hoo. love david and uh, he had a little independent label he was starting and wanted to do a, a record, so he, he helped me out on too. that. Oh, man. Hammonds is a big fan. That's that's where I found out about you. Really? Yeah. Well, David's a great guy. Uh, but through him, I met Jeff. And uh, Jeff actually sang Green River with me on that album. Yeah. Which is only one of the only memorable things about that album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Oh, another thing about Jeff that y'all don't know. he When you go to lunch with Jeff, and I know you know this. Actually, I think we all went one day. Me, you, and David, and Jeff. Probably. To some barbecue, the uh, place in Fort Payne. Yeah. Uh, he will, he's very generous. He, you know, he, he'll, he'll buy your lunch. And when he's done eating, he will sneak off and be in the car already. Mm-hmm. And, uh you know he wh- much for chit chat whether you're done or not <laughs> he will he will be gone so now the, you have the, to finish up the only thing i can correct you with that story is when you said he'll buy your lunch 
Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe he just likes me better I than you. I think he likes you better. I think he likes you You know, he introduced better. me to Merle Haggard. Wow. Yeah, he was, uh, he was, I had known Jeff a few years, and, and Merle came to Gadsden, Alabama. Oh I think it was gosh. Gadsden or somewhere around Birmingham. And it's before Alabama got started back up touring again. And uh, Jeff would come out if he, if Merle was close, and he would just bring in a little amp and his guitar and kind of sit in with the strangers and play. Mm. And uh, I was there at, at sound check, and Jeff and Merle was sitting down. They were setting up the folding up chairs on the floor, and they were just down there talking. And he introduced me. Took, he actually took the only picture I have of me and Merle. Jeff took it, wow. and tried to charge me twenty dollars. You bet he did <laughs> to get my own picture. <laughs> that is so good. But me, but me and Merle uh, had a crazy conversation about the spider following him in the hotel room where he's at and it's scaring the shit out of him <laughs> so yeah. uh I, I, he he looked at me and said well i guess if i go crazy just tell everybody i'm all right i'm all right. and then we kind of had that moment for a minute and i he's said like, i'm gonna write that song I said, hell that sounds like a song and he 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 said well maybe so and he gave me his number and said merle call haggard. me monday merle haggard yeah and I was scared to death. Oh, my god! Because I was like... Did you call him? If I call him, he ain't going to know who I am. Oh, he ain't, ain't going to remember that. This was in 2013 or 14, <sighs> right before, right when he started getting sick and uh-huh. he had canceled the first run of shows. This is when he come back. And it was turned out it'd be his last run. But uh, I never called. and <sighs> But I wrote down, if I go crazy, tell everybody I'm all right. I wrote that down in my phone. And I thought, well, you know. Maybe I'll call tomorrow. Maybe I'll call tomorrow. I never did. I was scared. Oh, man. Yeah. So uh, the night that he died, I was listening to uh, Rainbow Stew Live, the record that I've, one of the records I've got of Haggard's. And that whole song just kind of came to me, and I wrote If I Go Crazy. Mm-hmm. And I put it on my last record, Stone on the One, that I was talking about. I put it on there. So if you want to hear it, you can check it out. Yeah. There. But... Uh, yeah, was, was I don't blame you. I mean, I don't know if I'd had the balls to call me either. I mean, Merle is a that's a, a something else. It's a whole nother thing for that me. Is a something else. And I was. So, I know. Yeah. I've been so lucky, you know, uh, to get to know a lot of these these people. You just grow up idolizing. And Bobby Bear is another one. He's been a really good friend mm-hmm. to me, and we've ri- we've written songs. He's introduced me to people. Um, and I told him about that one day, and he said, well, hell, you should have called. <laughs> if he wouldn't want you to call, he wouldn't have told you that. He told you that. That's right. <laughs> I love Barry, oh, man. <laughs> Bobby and Jeannie both are great people. What you going to sing for us, buddy? Well, all this talk about Alabama, Randy and Jeff and Teddy, I mean, you know, it's got me thinking about this song I wrote a couple of years ago. I've never recorded it. Um, I probably will, but um, I kind of... It was just about my hometown. I'm I'm from a town called Geraldine, Alabama. Geraldine. And uh, it's in the same county that Fort Payne's in, in DeKalb County. DeKalb County. In the northeast corner of Alabama. So I've, you know, watching those guys on the award shows growing up and on Hee Haw and on everything, and then turn around and seeing them at Walmart, mm-hmm. you know, when I go to the doctor and Mama yeah. takes me there to buy me a toy so I'll shut up crying. <laughs> yeah. You see them walking down the aisle. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. But so I, they, I think part of them, uh, part of their thing that they did kind of inspired me to, to kind of be more driven, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a song that I wrote about my hometown. It's called Little Town in Alabama. Safe, the 
folks are kind Million dollars ain't worth a dime All the children still say sir and ma'am That little town in Alabama There's no shopping malls or mansions Or big city attractions And you won't get stuck in traffic sitting still But there's good hard working people Treating everybody equal And a sunset at Smith Creek you won't forget And it's never far from where I am That little town in Alabama Every Sunday at the old cafe They serve meat and three five dollar plates Chicken's fresh hot off that fried pan In that little town in Alabama Past the dollar store there on the right Sits by the road an old church sign Simply says when you can't Jesus can In that little town in Alabama There's no shopping malls or mansions Or big city attractions And you won't get stuck in traffic sitting still But there's good hard working people Treating everybody equal And a sunset at Smith Creek you won't forget It's never far from where I am That little town in Alabama It's where I learned to live on my best friend and how to love and lose and love again and I thank the Lord my life again in that little town in Alabama and one day they'll lay me in the sand That little town in Alabama. Yeah, brother. Good stuff. Appreciate mm. it. Andrew Pope. You 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 gonna put that on your new album. I'm, I'm thinking about Let's it. Let Shooter grab a hold of that one. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> that's, that's got a lot of good response. I've done it pretty often. I mean, I wrote it a couple of years ago, but I've done it pretty often. That's just killer. Lately, just kind there's of so many, there's, there's so many magical lines in it. Thank you, man. Andrew, it. just a pleasure, brother. Yeah, man. Just and on, good to man. see you again. Yes, we need sir. to see each other more. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yeah, Andrew man. Pope, keep an eye on him, folks. Um, AndrewPope.com, AndrewPopeMusic.com. AndrewPopeMusic.com. You on Facebook, Facebook and all that stuff? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yep, all of them. And it's all Andrew Pope Music. Andrew Pope Music on Instagram. And I think Twitter is the Andrew Pope. Okay. So you folks know what to do. 
Hit up all them sites, give them a like, give them a follow, give them a say, hey, this guy's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Andrew Pope! <laughs> hey, what are we talking about? Cashcreekband.com. Yeah, man. Spiffy new website. It's slick. Thanks you, to our buddy Sean. Yeah. You can get everything Cash Creek there. Let that be your starting point when you go exploring around the world of Cash Creek. Absolutely. You can even get to YouTube channel from that website right there, and you can catch up on all of our fabulous Cash Creek Club. That's right. Podcast webisode thing thingmadingies. That's Cash Creek Band. Band. Dot com. Dot com. That's right. See you there. Woo-hoo! Wow. You didn't get any Alabama on you, did oh, you? Oh, man. I, will, I hope so. <laughs> what a great so. song. Man. Yeah, great song, man. Wow. Didn't that just yeah. encapsulate the, the small town? Sure does. It just It just sucks you right in there. You're right there. Sure does. Yeah. You're right there. Good stuff. I don't know. Main Street. Man. <sighs> That that <laughs> that song, right? Yeah. You've been to Fort Payne too. Yeah, right? you you yeah. see it. It's yeah. just like you know, yeah, yeah. That whole that whole way of life. It's 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 held on to that too. Yeah, it really has. It really has. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. There's nothing else to do down there though. Go to the Walmart. Go to the Walmart for <laughs> yeah. the dollar. You might see Randy and Teddy and Jeff yeah. down there. Yeah. <laughs> Randy <laughs> whispered to oh, something. It's <laughs> awesome. There it is. Can you imagine? That is, you just that, this, you that this is thing, Randy, taking that is, a picture of Randy Bryan, he's standing behind you. Never met him. Whispers in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> sings in your ear. <laughs> that is a that is a Randy O story. That is hysterical, that so man. I mean that guy, man, he is he's so awesome. Just it's hysterical. I know. <laughs> Teddy's a better bass player than you, by the mm-hmm. way. Teddy's a better bass player. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a given. It's a given. Of course. I never claimed to be a bass player. <laughs> Nor should you. Yeah, no, no. Who would ever do Who something to claim like that? that? I know. <laughs> Never claim anything like that. Oh man. <laughs> so the old CCB Nashville man, we're we're full fledged. We've we've hung our shingle. We've hoisted our flag. Here we go, buddy. Off and running. Thank you all who have liked the page, by the way. Yes. Um, yeah, keep keep an eye on it. We we got stuff rolling. We have our first release of 2020 coming up. Angela Andrew Oliver. Angela Oliver. Yeah, Y'all man. need to pick that thing up. The 17th. That'll be out. Let's see. This is next Wednesday. I don't, I'm not gonna try. The yeah. 17th. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. But we will be um, showcasing her. Yes, in February. Downtown. Third and Lindsley. Th- Third and Lindsley. Yep. And then six war boys will be there too. Six that war. Night. So you know that that top down guy, yeah, he's gonna yeah. be there too, huh? Come for Angela, stay for the six wire boys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means Chuck's gonna be doing that showcase. Yes, right yes, Tilly will sorry, be doing Blaylock. that. One. Sorry, Blaylock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. Yeah, we got our single coming up here pretty soon too. <sighs> yeah, well, good Lord willing, good Lord willing, <laughs> creek don't rise too high. We'll Although get, we we'll do get it out there, we do have. Uh, uh, our inspirational one going. You just saved me. Yeah. That one's done. That it's, one's ready to go. It's happening. Yeah. It's happening this month, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I got high hopes for that song. Me too. What a great song. Me too. It's it's and Chip Davis, man. Chip killed it, man. And and it's so funny. I remember the first time hearing that song. You know, we, we were in a runner van going to some gig. And Chip just got a rough mix back of a real gospel version. He goes, check, check this out. You know, and he, I put the headphones on. He's like, I'm all, I told him, I said, I'm going to cut this with my band, and you're going to sing with me. <laughs> and, I mean, and the first day. By golly. I know, and, and it came to fruition. Yeah. 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 So. Jesus saved me. You can find that on duality, by the way. Mm-hmm. It is on duality. On yeah. the center. The center. Before you go over. Before you go over. The yes. Edge. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, what else did we want to share with these people, Monty? Uh, there was something else. Because we're, 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 there's so much going on. There's so much going on. So hey, RT single, guys, thank you, by the way. Um, it's it's He's still he's That's still right. rolling up the charts. There's the weather. Yeah. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer Blair Promotions. That's pretty usual. It's our girl, man. She get her done. Yep. Um, we're starting up the club live again in February. Yep. 
First not Wednesday. Sure, not sure yet who's going to be. We have a couple options floating out there. Yeah, we'll lock that in. We'll lock we'll it let in. you know. Yeah. Soon just know the date. It might be Monty. Monty might be our headliner. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? That'd be a great headliner. <laughs> That'd suck. <laughs> <laughs> from the hills of Pope Valley from the hills of Pope Valley I think we should let Jim headline let's yeah. put Jimmy up front that's right Lord help us all him in a snare drum yes <laughs> drum solo for half an hour Jimmy Blaylock <laughs> that'd be awesome awesome hmm. no gosh darn it Monty we need we to write are. this stuff down we need to get this thing tighter oh Oh, we can't do that. The Wait. audio version, audio version of our little show here is um, will be at, at where you can get your podcasts. So iTunes, um, Spotify. Spotify. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we're not sure exactly when they will all go live, but you'll be able to go back through the archives when you're driving somewhere. And, so, and also anytime we put one out, it will also be up and available. That's but, yeah, just audio. Just audio. Just audio. Just you audio. Don't, you don't get to well, see which our... is really what a podcast is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the web of podcast is so it is its, its own right. beast. It's its own thing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. We'll... And growing, by golly. So we will be growing. E- we, we will be guys. everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> it's our all plan. going. It's, it's going to... <laughs> I have foreseen. You haven't seen Rise of Skywalker yet, have you? I have not yet. We gotta get barn and go do it. Yeah. Well, let's shut her down. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for being with us. We're starting a new decade. Finger us out of here, Monty. Let's go home. Bye. Oh, finger. We, <laughs> that's, oh, no. that's it brings we, us in. We, we finger in. I have to go out. We go <laughs> In reverse. <laughs> Don't pigs, aren't they? Corkscrews, yes. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> just Google Google swine and corkscrew. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>